welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a fan fold. So I started by drawing my diameter using a marker attached to a string. I just kind of use the string to draw the circle. And then I accordion fold it along that edge so you can see it makes a straight line after it's all folded up. You're just gonna take it around the corners you know it doesn't have to be perfect i mean some people make these really really perfect mine are a little bit messier but i feel like they have a cool effect as well so then i used some wax sinew and i'm just wrapping it around the the edge i didn't really want like strong bold lines so i only wrapped it around three times and then there i'm using the um, a PVC pipe as my sinew puller. So I just went all the way down as far down as you want to go. I went all the way to the bottom with this one. Alrighty, so then I put it in a gutter and the first color I used was Kingfisher blue And you just kind of tap it in there. I put it along those lines there the Next color I used was lime pop And I just put it under the Kingfisher one thing you want to know about gravity dyes is that the colors are going to run into each other so it's good to not put like a lot of complementary colors. I think it's cool sometimes to have the bottom be like kind of a brown but some people don't like that so this last color it was deep space that last color before that was hot hibiscus and here I'm pouring some boiling water over top of it to set the dye. I don't always do this but I did it this time for who knows why. I set it in boiling water, then I let it sit until it cools off a little bit. Here I'm rinsing it with cool water, and I just rinse it like this until it runs relatively clear. Then I start to untie that sinew. So here I'm starting to untie it. You'll see more dye coming out. And then I bump the water up to hot. That will get out even more of the excess dye. After I do that, I use Dawn dish soap and I make it really sudsy and I rinse it out that way as well because that will get out even more excess dye. Then after I do all that, I wash it in a hot washing machine and I like to iron them because I feel like it makes the colors really pop. And then you're all done. And that is the final result. I think it turned out so pretty. I really like this color combo together. There was a little more white than I thought there would be, but I like it. I think it turned out really cool. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more. And if you have any questions or comments, comment below. Thanks.